And is the well-being of our children better today than it was decades ago? And that's the question that was asked in a recent poll from the University of Michigan's C.S. Mott Children's Hospital. And joining me this morning is Dr. Matt Davis. Good morning. With all of the information. Thanks for being here. Pleasure. First, let's let's talk about this survey. A majority of adults saying no, that they don't think that children are, are, are any better. Well, the issue, Everard, is that we continue to see improvements in medical care and public health. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, every year when we ask our public through our national poll on children's health about the top 10 concerns, certainly the public is quite concerned about children's health. Hmm. We wanted to get a sense among adults today, whether they be millennials or baby boomers, right. how do they perceive how their generations did as kids versus children today? Okay. What we found is that the majority of adults today think that children in today's world are actually doing worse when it comes to the mental and emotional health than they did when they were themselves were kids. Why do you think that is? It's hard to know exactly, although clearly I think adults are quite concerned about the environment we live in today, mm -hmm. which seems to have higher levels of violence okay. and conflict. We also know from asking these adults directly on our poll that they perceive higher levels of stress and lower quality of personal friendships and family time. Do you think that age has anything to do with it, the age of the generation? The age of the generation we found does have a little something to do with it. When it comes okay. to physical health, it turns out that the pre-baby boomers, the oldest adults in our communities, actually believe, are the most likely to believe, that kids today actually have better physical health than they did when they were growing really? up. Really? Now remember, that's the generation that grew up with things like polio yeah, and other true. concerns that today we vaccinated against and can protect our children today. But now we have other issues to worry about, uh, childhood obesity and, and that kind of exactly thing. Exactly right. And that's the concern. The higher rates of childhood obesity and asthma and concerns about attention deficit and depression that led us to ask these questions in the first place. What advice do you have for parents that are watching this morning? The advice we have for parents is to, especially when it comes to behavioral health, mm -hmm. listen to your kids, make a safe space to talk about when they're feeling stressed or feeling down. These are important conversations to have at any time they come up for your kids. Very true. Dr. Matt Davis, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Very useful information. Pleasure to be here.